Hi guys, George here from Zero Peer Productions, and today we're taking a look at Beyond Skyrim, Wares from Tamriel. For anyone who is unfamiliar, Beyond Skyrim is a series of large-scale quest mods that aim to bring the different provinces of Tamriel to Skyrim. Currently, only one mod has been released so far, Beyond Skyrim Bruma, which acts as a preview of sorts to the Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil mod. In addition to Cyrodiil, the Beyond Skyrim teams are also working on mods that will depict the Iliac Bay, Elsewhere and Morrowind, as well as the island of Rosquia and the lost continent of Atmora. The mod we're looking at today, Wares from Tamriel, serves as another sort of preview mod. Venturing to the city of Dawnstar, you will find a ship called the Dawn's Venture, carrying a traveler named Cardana. Her shop is stocked with various items that will appear in the upcoming Beyond Skyrim mods, including weapons, clothing, new food, and various rare items. In addition to this, she will also act as a bit of a rumor mill, giving small tidbits of information as to the events transpiring in the other parts of the world. In this sense, Wares of Tamriel acts as an interactive way to learn a bit more about the stories that we will see in the upcoming Beyond Skyrim mods. Wares from Tamriel is available on PC both for Skyrim Legendary Edition and Skyrim Special Edition. It does not require any DLCs or other mods in order to be played. There were some rockets over there by the weird black door. Well, I think I found the ship. And right off the bat, I really, really like the design because it does clearly make use of a design, or at least a sail design, that's different from most ships that you see in Skyrim. Making it already feel like something a little bit more, you know, from a different province or a different part of the world. Hello? Just regular clothes. Nope. Thought it might have been something new. Hmm? Hi there. Yes? Aw, oh, he doesn't talk. Just a guard. Welcome, welcome. Cardano Paolo, traveling purveyor of knickknacks, curios, and whatever takes my fancy. At your service. Well, before we look at her inventory, I just want to hear what she has to say about what's going on in the rest of the world. Hmm, sure, sure. People tend to have loose lips when they're haggling with merchants. <laughs> Especially ones as charming as me. Anywhere in particular you're curious about? Oh, I get to ask about specific places? Well, now I'm happy. I thought I was going to have to sit here and say, Hey, tell me a rumor. And I would have to do it about, or I would just have to keep on doing it and doing it until I heard all of the lines that I wanted to hear. But this is much better. What's going on in Elsewhere? Met a curious Elfique when I was in Dune. Taught me how to light my lanterns with the snap of my fingers. <laughs> Strange little cats, aren't they? Hope I'm not taking this too literally, but if that means we get Elfique in Beyond Skyrim Elsewhere, I will be very, very happy. Anything else? Last time I was up near Riverhold... The chatter was a little... disquieting. Some guards talking about sightings of bent cats near Riverhold. Well, surely they can't mean the Dromathra, right? Oh, I don't know if that's going to be all there is to say about Elsewhere, but I guess we'll see. Nope, there's still more about Elsewhere. I guess it just booted me back to the original menu. Word in Inequina says that the Remini's regulators have been spotted in Khajiiti lands. Slavers. You ever heard of them? I shudder to think what they do to the Khajiit under their yoke. Anything else? The stuff you see when Dominion soldiers parade through elsewhere beggars belief. They had a Centurat armored up like it was some kind of walking shield for their troops. Alright, well I like what I'm hearing so far. We have Alfiq, Dromathra, Aldmeri, Dominion using Centurats as walking tanks. And slavers, all right. We got a few things going on already. Hmm. Anywhere in particular you're curious about? There's still more for elsewhere. I know that the mod page said there were over a hundred lines of dialogue, but my god. The followers of Alkosh are calling for Thalmor blood. And let me tell you, that's not sitting well with the Inequinan clan mothers. Anything else? Believe it or not, sometimes I find the time to sightsee. Ever heard of the Tears of Azura? You should visit. The falls are breathtaking. Okay, so that's it for elsewhere. But that's a decent amount. That is a nice amount of hints at what we can expect. Anything new in the Iliac Bay? Which, anyone who's unfamiliar, that covers both Hammerfell and High Rock. So we will see both provinces in that mod. Ever been to Farin? 
a lot of bad blood in that kingdom throughout history. The kingdom's capital is an impressive port city for sure, but I don't know if I'd want to live there. A lot of ghost stories. What else? Ever been to the Abishan Isles? The Red Guards out there are different from those on the mainland. The scholars say it's because they're descended from the first Yakudens to arrive in Tamriel before the Ragadal wave began. Me, I think it must be something in the food. The Bretons are renowned for their adamantium armor. Its aesthetics are rivaled only by its strength. And its prices. Oh, do I have enough money for all this? Can't say I'm not tempted. But I'm not selling my ship and all its cargo, even if it does cost an arm and a leg to make. What else? Hammerfell's beautiful, no doubt. But I say be careful. People get carried away with romantic tales of the deserts. All I've seen are cutthroats and monsters. I wish I'd stopped at Yehenna on my way here. The city's come a long way in the last two centuries since the Nords ravaged it during the War of the Bendermark. What else? You think the Nordic barrows dotting Skyrim are impressive? Wait until you see one of the Dureni ruins spread around High Rock. Ooh, that I'm looking forward to. That will be fun for sure. I'm curious about Morrowind. Word of advice? Don't bring your horse over the eastern border. Dunmer go bug-eyed at the things. It's a delicacy, apparently. Guess it makes sense, because there were no horses in the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. You couldn't use them as a mount. They weren't available at all, so... I guess that's almost like a little bit of a reasoning as to why we didn't see them in Morrowind. Anything else? Be careful if you sail the Sea of Ghosts. Been hearing whispers of strange things, ghostly ships and strange lights... Entire voyages gone quiet. And if you absolutely must, keep your sword arm ready. It's called the Sea of Ghosts for a reason. Honestly, can't tell you how glad I am to be out of Dunmer lands. Nice enough folk, sure, but all their food tastes like feet. Some of it's shaped like feet, too. Anything else? Well, if you're looking for mining work, don't bother in the east. Everything valuable has been locked down by the houses, and everything else isn't worth a guar's fart. I like that. Okay, so that was it for Morrowind. Not as much for Morrowind as elsewhere. I feel like elsewhere we got the most in regards to storytelling hints. Iliac Bay, we learned a li little bit more just about some of the locations we can expect. Morrowind, we almost just learned more so about culture than anything else. What about Cyrodiil? Uh, nicest town in Cyrodiil? Skingrad or Coral? Though something about Skingrad sets off the hair on the back of my neck something fierce. Anything else? The Synod and College of Whispers have a monopoly. A duopoly? On magical knowledge over there. They're not the most helpful bunch, but if you get in good with them, maybe they teach you some things? Get through Anvil a lot. Bustling port city, not that the rest of Cyrodiil's short of those, at least in Nibbane. Though lately, the Census and Excise office there has been wringing me dry of every last septum. <sighs> Anything else? Bravel is the problem child of Cyrodiil, for sure. Feels like almost everyone's in abject poverty and hooked on skooma. Oh, so nothing's changed. That and the gang war between the Claws and the Lardons seem poised to explode sometime soon. I'd advise keeping your distance. I do like the sound of a gang war. That could be a really cool set of side quests for sure. Okay, that was it for Cyrodiil. So elsewhere definitely seems like it had the most in regards to information so far. How about the more exotic locales? I swear, if this is another misguided attempt at flirting with me... No. <sighs> but assuming you're sincere... You mean, like, what, uh, Roskria? I've been there. At Mora, I've... heard things. Or were you wondering about... <laughs> Akavir? Well, I know we're not going to Akavir. I know we're not going to Akavir, because that project isn't even being made. What about at Mora? An old sailor once told me about a captain he knew who claimed to have been to at Mora was never off the drink afterwards, whimpering about his sunken ship and what have you. 
Oh, and that just took me right into the do you have any items to offer. So, it's a minor thing, but I just have to kind of go back, exit out of menus and stuff to get to all the dialogue options that I want to see. Okay, so we still have more to ask about at Mora. Heard the college uncovered something in Sarthal? That Nordic stonework sure lasts, huh? If the rumors I've heard about an expedition headed out to Atmora are true, I bet it's related somehow. Okay, so it has to do with the Mage's College then. Good to know. Now this is really something. Apparently, there's an expedition headed out there soon. <laughs> Would you believe it? You just mentioned that. I'm honestly not even sure the place exists. But if they want to die trying to find out, it's their funeral. Okay, so those three were the only things she had to say about Atmora. Tell me something about Roscria. Plenty of miners over there. And miners are known for complaining. But now they're complaining about voices in the dark. Spooky, huh? Have you heard anything else? Heard rumors about an old smith up in the mountains near Fruthal who forges the finest mithril weapons. Been meaning to check it out, though I'm not sure it's worth all that effort just to sell it on later. Everyone over there knows the bear cult, but I heard some of the locals gossiping about other cults on the island. The chief in Fruthal got incensed when I asked, though. Said it was a malicious rumor. I don't know who to believe. Have you heard anything else? Be careful if you end up sailing around the Cape of Last Port. Lot of perilous outcroppings, and there's this weird island. The Isle of Roots. They say the tree there speaks to you. Me? I did enough skooma in my youth, thanks very much. Hmm. Anywhere in particular you're curious about? I swear. <sighs> or were you wondering about... <laughs> Akavir? East Empire Company is funneling a lot of gold toward Roscria. Some kind of business venture deeper inland. So that's everything she has to say about At Mora and Roscria. So that just leaves Akavir, so she's probably just gonna make a snide joke or something. <sighs> I may be a traveling merchant, but do I look like Eris the Explorer from those kids' books? Guess not. Alright. What do you have for sale? Another soon to be satisfied customer. Okay, we have quite a few things here. I was just looking at all of it very briefly. We have different Ashlander pots, which you can use these to just decorate your homes for the time being. I like seeing the clutter. I like that they're putting that amount of time and effort into making these really, really well-detailed just clutter items because it's stuff that will make these provinces and areas come to life a lot more. Look at this coin. That's beautiful. And there's different variants of the coins, too. Oh, wow. Are both sides different on each coin? Yeah. That's really impressive. The amount of detail that is going into this project is nothing short of incredible. And by this project, I mean all of the different Beyond Skyrim projects, because each mod is being worked on by a different team. Oh, a bamboo hitting stick is a weapon! Look at that! Well, that's nice. Oh, wow. This is just gonna be me sitting through and looking at different items. Just letting you know now. Also, I'm going to buy all of the clothing items that I see that I can... Uh, that I see so I can show them off. Also, I'll be buying all of the different clothing items that I see so that I can show them off on a character rather than just showing them in the inventory view. Fishy Sticks, 76. Restore one point of health per second for 360 seconds. Restore one point of stamina per second for 360 seconds. Restore one point of magicka per second for 360 seconds. Ooh, a little bit of a game board. I like it. Oh, and the pieces, too! I'm guessing it's the equivalent of Elder Scrolls Chess. 
That's kind of nice. Oh. So what design do you think this would be? Maybe Roscria or Atmora, if I had to guess? Because, yeah, so these right here, I'm guessing, are from Hammerfell. I'm guessing that's from Hammerfell. Hammerfell. Atmora or Roscria. Hammerfell. Yeah, Atmora or Roscria. Oh, no, Mithril, so that would be Roscria. Mithril ingots in case... Well, I don't know if we would be able to craft our own Mithril stuff yet. Mooncake, so that's going to be elsewhere. Ooh. Nibbanese common clothes. Chess pieces. Oh, this is an elsewhere weapon. A Rimini's mace. I really like the look of that. That's lovely. Rolled bedroll. Another rolled bedroll. Rubies. Salt rice noodles, so that's mora wind. Salt rice potato. Oh, potage. Almost said potato. That's not a potato. You got a little Kwama egg on top. That's really nice looking. Shadow banish wine. Silver mace. That looks like it's going to be at Morin or Roscrian. Probably at Morin, if I had to guess. Steamed salt rice. Strife board. Sunej Biscuit. Resist 3% of frost damage for 60 seconds. Target is 3% weaker to fire damage for 30 seconds. Restore 5 points of Magicka. Magicka regenerates 5% faster for 300 seconds. And Verm. Restore 2 points of health. Oh, it just looks like a type of bread, but... I like that. That's really cool. Okay, so that is it. Not a whole lot in terms of... Weapons and armor. Well, no armor. Just weapons. But nothing is super, super pricey. So even if you don't have a ton of gold, you can still buy most of this stuff, which I like. Alright. And let's look at her counter as well, in case she has anything you. unique there. Expect I'll be here a while, so do come back to see what new finds I've chanced upon. Julianos Firebelly Wine, Ashlander Teacups. Tamriel is so beautifully diverse. Just like my wares. Care to take a look? Okay, I don't know if there's going to be anything new here, really, that's not in well, her inventory already. Well, that's another port I won't ever be allowed back into. I really like the bread. It essentially just looks like non-bread, which I really like anyway. In real life, it's very... Very tasty, very delicious. Where to next? The Isles, perhaps? Maybe another journey into Black Marsh. I'm trying to see if I can examine this sword right here. It's not really showing up at all, though. Because I can see the battle axe, but I can't I see can't this sword. The still oh! in one piece. And that fell. Maybe it's time to get a shop of my own. Alright, so that is just about it, I guess. Well, thank you guys for watching. A little bit of a shorter video, but I did want to show this off. I wanted to show off her dialogue options, show off the inventory that she had, and just really sit down and get to experience this for myself. I had seen some other people talking about it, but I wanted to, you know, hear what she had to say. I wanted to hear all of the rumors for myself because it really is the best way to look at the upcoming stories for these mods, all of which I'm incredibly excited about. I don't know if there's any plans for it right now, but I kind of hope that uh, this merchant is available as a traveling merchant in the other mods. I think that could be a really cool way of tying the other mods together, is having her as a recurring character, because it would just be the thing of you don't need to give her different quests or anything, just have her as someone who shows up occasionally and will say, man, crazy to see you again, and it would be fun to have that consistent character across the series. The voice acting is really, really well done. I knew that it said professionally voice acted, and Beyond Skyrim Bruma had incredible voice acting as well. 
but it's just so, so well done, and it continues to give me a lot of faith in the upcoming projects. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching this short video, but I was really, really happy that I got to take a look at this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.